The final episode starts out with the enemy army heading towards the village when they're attacked uh, by the one and only Lily, who summons some rats and... I mean, they're in full metal armor, so I don't really see why they care uh, that rats jumped on them, but that's whatever. As one of the groups is heading back, uh, their horse sets off a trap that cuts off all their arms and legs. Uh, they're super chill about it, and none of the cuts are bleeding. Like, they're just like, oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, but I guess maybe before they, you know, bleed out, uh, Kudo summons Healing Rain that restores their limbs. And as they're recovering from that, they notice messages written on the trees that are kind of like, you know, mocking them, I guess, uh, telling them to turn back and things like that. So then it cuts to soldiers being burnt alive. At least these guys are screaming, unlike the ones who had their limbs cut off. Um, and another group had their armor and clothes removed, and because I don't want YouTube striking it down, I'm not going to show that. But um, the commander calls for retreat, saying that the witches have showed them mercy. However, the Minotaur, like the re main red demon, and the rest of the demon army continues to move towards the village. We go back to the village with Zero Sensei saying that due to the traps, the 10,000 foot soldiers have been rerouted, and tells the students that the demon army are beast fallen and they can use certain magic infinitely and without incantations. Um, the priest and the mercenary are talking and as they're talking they bring up Lily and then they rush off to go rescue her or whatever. It cuts to Lily being captured in a net. The head demon says that they'll take her to the village and eat them in front of him. As the guy holding Lily is talking you see him get instantly cut into pieces by wires as well as a lot of the guys that are standing around. Uh, the priest cuts off the main demon's arm, and as the demon comments about how it's not regenerating, uh, the priest says that, well, my magic is imbued with certain things that, to where it will make it to where demons can't regenerate. Uh, so the main demon rips his arm off, and it, then it starts to regener regenerate like normal. Then the ones who got cut into half uh, begin to regenerate as well. As a wave of the demon army is charging towards the village, they fall into spike traps and the tyrant starts to mock them. The tyrant then jumps down to join the battle and he's smacking people around uh, like I do when I play Hammer and Monster Hunter. Um, but Holt, Kudo, and Sabel summon, uh, you know, from the sky pretty much magic arrows. It's kind of like Morgoth's uh, attack where he summons swords and has them fall to the ground. Anyway, as one of the monsters climbs the wall, uh, Sable walks up to him and uses his magic to like literally rip off all the flesh and muscle from the guy's arm just show like straight down to the bone uh, and Holt like some psychopath starts to celebrate Sable for having a new move. Holt then says it's time for her to bring out her ultimate move. Uh, she snaps her fingers and many on the battlefield are lit on fire. Um, she accidentally kills some of them but Kudo jumps down and starts to uh, heal them. The fight with the mercenary and the red demon makes its way to the village where a zero sensei starts an incantation that literally changes the aspect ratio so you know it's going to be a, a serious attack. Uh, she summons an army of the dead that eats the red demon alive until he's nothing but a skeleton. So then after that we go to where the magic school is hosting the VIPs of the seven great cathedrals to observe the pretty much village battle or like the exercise as they call it. As they're talking, they notice an army of the remnant of disasters is about to attack them from the forest. Some witch with a monocle tries to light them on fire, but they're unaffected and attack everyone. Um, as the bishops are retreating, one of the bishops tells everyone to gather around him and that he prepared a countermeasure because he did not trust the witches. So the head witch calls him up for saying that you can't create a ward without knowing the name of the foe's demon and ask the bishop how does he possess knowledge of which demon is the source of the remnant of disaster, it pretty much exposing that he's working for the enemy. As the ants swarm around him, he pulls out the ward that he prepared, and the ants start to disappear and go back into Ludens. Uh, Lo Sensei then pulls out one of their demon seeds and tells the bishop to eat it, pretty much going on about um, how, you know, you feed this to people in the name of salvation, things like that. So then it, like, a funny moment where it cuts to the village and one of the townspeople is saying that the witches didn't inflict a single casualty. It's like, yeah, you know, they only cut off their limbs, burned them alive, and made them fall into spike traps. But yeah, they didn't kill them, so, you know, it's all good. Uh, it then goes back to the headmaster's office where she gives the main group their diplomas. 
Holt then asks, uh, now that they have their diplomas, can we get to work? Uh, she's kind of surprised that they want to, you know, start working right away. But Kudo says he wants to enlist with the church and mage knights, and Sable says he wants to research magic more. The group goes back to the village to collect their things, and Zero Sensei tells Sable to keep the book that his father wrote. Um, and then when kind of that's all over and they're about to leave the village, the, ma um, the main village people are, are sending them off and talking, where it's revealed that the tyrant is going to stay in the village. Like I predicted, uh, Lily gives Kudo a food basket, telling him, you know, make sure you eat this on your way there. Uh, and, the, and the priest breaks him up, he's like, what are you, his mother? Um, but Sable says goodbye to Laos, uh, telling them that he'll be back when Laos is older. It then goes back to where the group uh, are talking to the headmaster, where she said that she has the perfect job for them, and that job being to gather and bring information about remnants of disaster. As the group is traveling with the dragon, you know, pretty much drawn carriage, I guess, Sable says that he's incredibly happy that he gets to be with Holt and Kudo after graduation and blurts out that he loves them. Holt then blurts out, you know, why are you making me like you even more? Uh, Kudo, he's like, yeah, what she said. Uh, and then after that, we see Lil Sensei laying on top of a carriage in like a convoy. I don't really remember whose it is. I don't know if it's like the main empires and she's going back to travel with them or if that like patrol is following Sable and all of them. I have no clue. Uh, but then the episode ends. So now some of my personal thoughts. Like I've kind of said in the previous episodes, um, this and it's gotten good towards the end um and especially this episode i thought this episode was good i mean yeah it's kind of campy and all that stuff but it was really entertaining um i'm sad i won't get to see lily anymore but oh well i guess i'll have to find another like cute wholesome little child or whatever uh that i will protect in the next season of anime but that's pretty much it so yeah